I'm Paul Wilson from Calibrated Power, home of DuramaxTuner.com. Today, I'm going to walk you through how to load tunes onto your spade, also known as a V3 AutoCal, and to be the same process with a V3 Flash Scan. For this process, you're going to need your spade, your USB cable, a PC laptop that already has EFI Live uh, Explorer and EFI Live Scan and Tune, or the V8 software, currently installed. And generally, you'll need a good internet connection to get that done. Um, from there, it's pretty simple. The first thing we're going to do is plug in our AutoCal to the computer. So there's just a little device cable on the top. This will power up the screen. So you'll see an attention uh, and a little bit of a heads up there with their disclaimer. You just click on the check mark. In general, the check mark is OK and the X is back. Uh, I think if you know those two things, that'll help you with a lot of the instructions that you'll read out there for these. For tune loading, I'm going to assume everybody knows how to save a file to their desktop. So once you receive an email with a tune update, uh, you're going to want to save that to your desktop. Now, most of our tunes come preloaded. So if you're just buying an AutoCal, you probably won't need to do this. Instead, you'll want to watch our tuning installation or full flashing video. Uh, this is going to be for the tune loading video. So this would be tune updates, and then there are a select few vehicles that we need to read from or some additional work uh, before we can load tunes on them. Once I'm on my computer, I'll have my V8 software installed. That'll include two icons, EFI Live Scan and Tune and EFI Live Explorer. Now you can see they both have V8 in the title as well. For today, we're going to be using EFI Live Explorer. So I'll double-click on that and open that file up. Once you have EFI Live Explorer open, uh, you'll notice the top portion is a folder sorting window. So we should be able to navigate to our files directly from here. Now, if it defaults to the quick access, this may be pretty simple. Otherwise, I recommend saving your, your tuning files right to your desktop. So you can just double click on your desktop. And then we're going to be pulling files down one at a time. Now first, you're going to need to know where to actually load those files. So down on the bottom half of the screen, or bottom portion of the screen, you'll see these tabs, F3 data files, F9 config files, and so on. For this portion of tune loading, we're just going to be working on F3 data files. So here I can see I have a few different folders. We are looking for your tune folder, uh, which you'll see here displayed on the right-hand side what's in it, which right now is nothing. So I'm going to drag and drop. That's it, I just hold down my left mouse button uh, once that file is highlighted, and then I just drag it down into where, into this section underneath file name. So we'll do that again with this A50 file. Now the truck we're going to be flashing as an example is uh, Jamie Curley's LML that has twin turbos on it, uh, 2700 bar map, it also has a 10 mil CP4 pump from Exergy, and of course it's all emissions equipped running our custom tuning on it. So you'll see the file names will vary depending on what your truck has done to it. Uh, this truck has an A50. We also of course include a stock A50 file. Uh, so, so you may notice that these file names change, but the process is gonna be the same throughout. Once you've dragged and dropped these files here and you see that they're loaded, you're done. You're ready to go flash the truck. Mm -hmm.